Hey guys, this is Miss Robinson. Today we're going to be practicing one more problem for our subtraction with regrouping. I noticed that some of us are still having problems with regrouping with subtraction and we're confusing some of the rules that we had for subtraction uh, for addition with regrouping. So this lesson is going to be all about using our manipulatives and showing the work as we write it in our standard form over here on the right. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to look at the problem and we need to notice if we have two parts, one whole, one part, what do we have over here? So if I look at this problem, I see 47 subtract 19. I see a subtraction sign here which tells me that I'm taking a part away from a whole. So if I look at our part, part, whole model, my whole is at the top because I have 47 as my whole at the top. I also know that I have 19 as my part. That 19 is part of the whole. Another way to look at this is to think of a story problem. If I look at 47 and let's say that, you know what, Miss Robinson went apple picking and I went to an orchard and I got 47 apples from that orchard. But when I got home, Mr. Robinson ate 19 of those apples. So we're trying to figure out how many apples are left, okay? So we're taking 19 away from 47 to figure out how many are left for me to eat, okay? So now that we have an idea of what these two numbers mean, we need to start making the number. Which number do you think we're going to make? If you said 47, you're correct because 47 is the whole. That's how many apples I have in all, okay? So here we go, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 40. I have 47 apples, so I need to add seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven apples, okay? I have 47 now. Now we need to look at our numbers over here. Now, when we were adding, we had to add our ones place first. When we subtract, we have to do the same thing. So we are going to subtract our nine from our seven ones. Now if we look over here, can I take nine ones away from here? Okay, so a simple yes or no answer. And the answer is no. You cannot take away nine ones if you only have seven ones here. So that means that we need to get more ones from somewhere. Where can I get more ones from? Well, if I look at this 10 stick, that's made of 10 ones. So we need to take these 10 ones and we're going to move them over into the ones place. But if I leave it just like this, that's hard for me to work with. I can't really break these apart with just my hands, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trade this in for 10 ones here, okay? If you look at this, you can already see it's in 10 ones, right? You see that? There are 10 ones right there but I can't pull these apart, so I'm just gonna trade these in for 10 ones. So here we go. We're gonna get 10 ones and we're gonna put them right here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So now I have 10 ones, okay? Remember, I'm trading these in because I can't break these apart. I don't have my hammer today. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna trade them in for these 10s. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it right up here because we're not using that anymore. I just traded that in, okay? So now I have my 10 ones and I have my seven ones here. So we're gonna add these together. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So now I have 17 ones. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and move this to the side here because we have that 10 right here already. Now if I have 17 ones now, I should probably record that over here because we just changed the position of some of these numbers. So I'm going to cross out that 7 because we don't have 7 ones here anymore. We now have 17 ones. Okay? And then I don't have four tens anymore. Does anyone remember why I don't have four tens anymore? It's because I moved one of those tens over here. This 10 used to be right here and now it's not. So now we have three tens. I hope you can see that if I take this 10 and I add it back over here, it would give me four tens. Okay, but since I didn't, I took the 10, I moved it over to the ones place. That's why I have 17 here and I have three tens left. Okay, do you see that here? All right, so now we're going to subtract. Well, 17 subtract nine. Well, there are several ways you can do this. The way that I see this is that I know that nine plus nine is 18 as a double. 9 plus 9 is 18. Well, 17 is one less than that. So 9 plus 8 must equal 17. So 9 plus 8 is 17. Or 17 subtract 9 equals 8. Okay. And then 3 tens subtract 1 10 is 2 tens. Now let's try that one more time. I'm going to show you how I got that answer with the, what, with the place value blocks. We have 17 subtract 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to get rid of these 9 ones because we are subtracting 9 ones. Okay, so now I got rid of them. They're all gone. Those are those, those are nine apples that Mr. Robinson ate. Okay, are you with me? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones left. Okay, now if we look over here, we have three tens, and we're subtracting one of those tens. I now have two tens left. If I come back to my part, part whole, I had 47 apples that I picked. Mr. Robinson ate 19 of those apples. I now have 28 apples left. 19 and 28 make 47. Or 47 subtract 19 equals 28. All right, so we're going to continue practicing this tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm going to teach you how you can check your work. Some of you have already learned this, some of you have not. All right, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.